final topic I want to talk about in this module is IDA uniqueness. And when I say uniqueness, I mean, are there other products or ideas out there that are similar? Um, you want to be careful if what you're doing is not new, because if it's too similar to something else that may be out there, you may run into potential issues that you know, we'll talk about here in a second. Um, you also want to look at, you know, are those products that are similar, are they making money? Uh, are they struggling? You know, if they're struggling, chances are that, you know, you'll struggle too. You might have a better marketing plan than them, so it's possible that, you know, they they go out and, and fail and you're the one that's successful. But if they're struggling, just, you know, be careful because it's more than likely that you will struggle as well. So, you know, you can do Google searches to see if there's anything out there that's similar. Sometimes um, you'll see on certain forums, people are posting that, you know, they're facing the same issue. And in some of the answers, people might point to commercial products, open source products, um, which is another thing to consider if, you know, you're looking to solve a problem and sell the software and there's another product out there that solves the problem that's free and open source, um, you may run into some roadblocks and challenges along the way there as well. Not saying that it's not possible to make money that way because there are plenty of um, products out there that are um, commercial for sale products and with open source alternatives that, um, you know, the commercial product ends up doing much better than, uh, than the freebie. But um, just, you know, it's, it's really important to know these things going in so that you can plan around it. And lastly, I just want to talk about doing a patent search. So you, you can um, search for patents um, and see if there are topics or keywords or, you know, patents out there that um, contain, you know, methods for solving the problem that you're solving. Uh, Google Patents is a, is a great quick way to get started. Um, you may want to consider um, reaching out to an attorney just so that they can do a much better and thorough search than, than you can for it. But you want to make sure that whatever idea you're coming up with, you might think that it's a new idea, but there might be another company out there that solved that idea and patented the method for solving the idea. So you want to make sure that if you are coming up with a similar solution, that the method that you're following to get to that solution is different than something that's protected out there. Otherwise, you can uh, potentially get hit with, with a lawsuit.